Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the obstacle limitation surfaces of the aerodrome as per the ICAO Annex 14 Chapter 4. Today we are going to discuss about the various obstacle surfaces with the help of a 3D model. So we are going to discuss about the outer horizontal surface, then inner horizontal surface, transitional surface, approach surface, inner approach surface, takeoff climb surface, and balcony landing and inner transitional surfaces. Let us assume that we have considered here code 3 or code 4 runway and it is instrumental runway as well. From the center of the runway, 15,000 meters circular part is at 150 meters height from the runway this plane is outer horizontal surface from the threshold center of the threshold 4000 meter circle and from here also 4000 meter circle joined with two tangent lines this surface 45 meters from the from the runway top till here this surface is in the horizontal surface so so far we have discussed outer horizontal surface inner horizontal surface Now let us see what is runway strip. 140 meters from the runway center line, both sides, that means total 280 meters, and from the threshold 60 meters, both sides. Now this is approach surface. Approach surface is starting from edge of the transitional surface divergence 15 percent both sides and slope first section up to 3000 meters is 2 percent slope from there up to 3600 meters 2.5 percent slope from that point until 15000 meters till the end of the outer horizontal surface there is no slope zero slope and this section is inner approach surface inner approach surface is 120 meters for up to code e aircrafts when it becomes code f aircrafts it has to be 140 meters with and the slope as you see here 2 percent slope and it is up to 900 meters now this is takeoff climb surface what it is described in ICAO annex 14 chapter 4 table 4-2 this is 2 percent and starting 180 meters and end with here, this is 1800 meters, which maintains same. And in the approach surface, we have seen the first one is 2%, the second one is 2.5%. But in takeoff climb surface, entire length is constantly. Next, let us understand what is conical surface. Let us see here. This section is conical surface as we discussed earlier this is inner horizontal surface from inner horizontal surface with 5% slope again I repeat 5% slope going up to horizontal surface this looks like a cone an ice cream cone that's why this section is known as the conical surface before moving into optical free zone, let us understand again recap. 
this is in a trans this is transitional surface which is at 14.3 percent from runway strip to inner horizontal surface now when one or two surfaces are at same location how to identify what is the most stringent surface for example here we have the takeoff climb surface which is at 2 percent and if the same takeoff surface if you see at the location where it is passing through the conical surface and outer horizontal surface at this location we have the conical surface we have the outer horizontal surface take off climb surface here whichever is the nearest to the uh, earth surface that will be the most stringent surface in icom annex 14 chapter 4 at table 4-2 it is also mentioned that whenever obstacles are not reaching up to 2% slope for the takeoff climb surface in order to minimize the new obstacles the 1.6% slope is recommended to be adopted so whenever we go for the takeoff climb surface it is recommendable to go with 1.6% slope instead of the 2% slope last but not least let us understand what is optical free zone the surfaces which are not shown here are inner transitional surface Balkan landing surface we are going to discuss about them first of all let us understand what is Balkan land surface from threshold 1800 meters the Balkan land surface starts the Balkan land surface is at 3.3 percent slope and divergence of the bulk land surface is 10 percent now let us understand what is inner transitional surface inner transitional surface is same like transitional surface but it is starting from the very nearer from the runway which is uh, 140 meters width and it is inclined at 33.3 percent both sides and as it can be seen it is going up to the inner approach till the end so this surface is inner transitional surface as we already discussed this is inner approach and this is bulk landing surface this all three surfaces together whatever plane it is forming this is obstacle free zone what does it mean that means at this location no fixed objects are allowed so any instrumental systems navigational aids meant for the operations should be frangible so this is very very important to study correctly in an aerodrome and identify what is obstacle free zone and one has to ensure that in this area either airfield ground lighting system or navigational aids should be frangible Hope this video is very informative to you. As this is dealing with aviation safety, I would request you to share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much.